DJ Part 2 Bear Review. It's time to blast off into space, kiddies. And how are we going to do that today? We're going to do that with a beer from Long Trail Brewing Company out of Bridgewater's Corners, Vermont, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And what beer are we going to have from them? We're going to have a DIPA. That's right. It's Space Juice. This is a rotating serving of clocks in it, 8.7% ABV and 82 IBUs. Four hops in this beer. They're using Galaxy Mosaic Citra. Citra. Columbus and Ella or Asia if you prefer. Four malts in this beer they're using two row and caramel. So I'm wondering uh, is the caramel going to make it sweet? When I had this a while back it was a little sweet I thought for DIPA especially a New England style. However I've heard they backed off a little on the caramel malt and friends at the beer store said give it a go. You will like this. This beer has been around since 2015 so exceedingly fresh right now. It's a week old so you know what that's good to go. Let's crack the top. Ah, get it in the glass and tell you what's up with Space Juice D.I.P.A. Hell yes. Mm-mm-mm. Here we go. Ooh, this one's clear. You know what? Just because it's from New England doesn't mean it's got to be hazy, right? And Long Trail is an old school sort of brewery, so, you know, maybe they're doing that filtering thing still. Wow. Tons and tons of active bubbles coming up from the bottom of this beer. We have a solid two and a quarter finger head of really tightly packed bubbles. I can already see alcohol legs at the top of the glass when I swirl it, and they're clinging into it. I think we're also going to get some nice glass lacing out of this, but wow, tons of active carbonation releasing from this beer. And I don't, this glass is not nucleated, but take a look at it. I picked this glass because it's kind of rocket like. This is the um, craft beer glass from Libby, if you guys are wondering. People ask me about my uh, glassware a lot on comments. This is a craft beer glass. That's what they call it. So, you know what? It's a DIPA. It looks pretty. It's got that lovely golden amber color. Ah, let's see what it smells like and dive in for the aroma. Woo, tons of citrus. Wow, mango, papaya, some melon notes, big, nice amount of dankness. Mm, not a hint of alcohol in the aroma. More melon notes, more papaya and mango notes are coming up. Lots of citrus zest, piney, dank, herbaceousness, kind of a resinous tone. I don't, I'm not really getting a lot of sweetness or anything in the aroma like I remember in the past. Of course, my beer memory could be lying to me. Uh, wouldn't be a surprise, but mm, smells like a really bright, vibrant DIPA. A little West Coasty in the aroma. You know what? Let's see what it tastes like. Let's dive in. Cheers! Mmm. Wow. Yum. More sweetness in the taste than the aroma. Let me get another hit of that. Mm. Nice glass lacing. Right up in front, you get hit with citrus. Then a lot of the melon and stone fruit type flavors. That mango, a bit of spiciness. I'm suspecting that's coming from the mosaic. That spicy mango next to the skin taste that I get ever since I've been drinking like surly beer, abrasive way back from when, when I first got hit with that mosaic vibe. After that, we got citrus zest. Mm, some dankness, a little like, there is that caramel sweetness in there, but it's not that big, as it's not as big as I remember. It's balanced. Mm, let me take another drink of this. The 8.7% is totally hidden. Not No warming in the chest, no alcohol taste. It's smooth, crisp, easy to drink. It has a fairly dry finish to it. In the back end, in the, in the back end I'm getting a little bit of like resinous dank, you know, sort of pine build, building in the flavor. And around the size of my tongue, get like a little bit of like citrus zesty type bitterness. But in the main body of the taste, there's a lot of those melony sort of like tropical fruit basket type thing going on mixed with that citrus zest. This is a tasty beer. It's not a mind blower. This isn't like a New England like juice bomb or what is like the new New England IPA style. Of course, you know, it's clear. Generally, the New England IPAs are hazy, but this was made in New England. Anyway, it's in Vermont, but really tasty beer, well-made. This is the best long trail beer that I've had. I've had there, I think they have like a single bagger and double bagger. It's kind of like a cow on it and stuff like that, but that wasn't my favorite. This is a tasty beer. It's got what you expect. It's just not like, oh God, this is the greatest things ever. You know, it doesn't have like a a real like resounding flavor note in it <clears throat> that's like defining it and separating it from others that I've had, but it's a quality solid beer. So let's grade this brew. At time of recording, super fresh like this, 
Ah, B Rabbit gets given it a 91, and so we're going to A minus range. And Untapped is given this 3.94 caps, which is definitely high A minus going into that A range for them. Let me take one more taste of this, and I will grade it myself. I'm going to give this just into my A scale, I think. It's really well made. I'm going to give it a 94. It's a little pricey for what it is. I think it was like the store I bought it was like $18.99 or $16.99, six pack, four pack, you know, yeah, it was a four pack. Um, but you know what? Whatever. Tasty beer, just the same, just into the A range. I don't know if I would necessarily ooh, seek it out, but I would definitely drink it again. And um, if a friend had it, I would choose this over some other DIPAs for sure. So, have you had Long Trail Brewing Company Space Juice? Have you got juiced on this before? If you have, let me know what you know, because I like to quit broco and the back and forth. Oh, I also really like it when you do what? Come on, think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. I am definitely mm -hmm, getting it done. Are you doing your part? I, part, I hope so. Also, ooh, if you could do me a big favor and rate, comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time with us, and get down to it, and I don't know, maybe <laughs> that like button, because that, along with only one can, and especially at 8.7% ABV, of Space Juice from Long Trail, is all I'm going to need to put my big-ass DIPA drinking happy face on today. So, the next DJ Fruit Tube, I got nothing but a hell of a bunch of love for you. Ah, drinking that Space Juice, and you know what's coming. That's right, a big-ass Peter!